What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Disney has come out with a new trailer called The Stepdad, and it was, or actually it is portrayed on the Disney UK YouTube channel. It has over a million views. And the three minute and 26 second clip shows this movie that will come out for the holidays. And it depicts a black man who has entered into a relationship or a marriage. I would believe the second is true in the UK, as it appears, based on how the apartments look, looks like a British apartment. And um, so he's in a relationship with an Asian woman who has two children. And from the looks of the, the, the movie or this animation that you're going to see, um, he's inviting his family over and you know his family is black. Her family is Asian. They tend to live an upper middle class lifestyle. They have a family dog. Um, and, the, and the guy is really active in their lives. Now, I was trying to understand from the clip because it wasn't really a lot of monologue going along or any, at all. Um, what happened to the father? And you do see a picture of an Asian man holding these two children in a picture for a short snippet. But that man looks like he was the father. But what happened is I would assume that man died from what I can get from the preview. He died in then the mother met this man who is, from what I can tell, a very caring man. He uh, He's helping the kids with the homework. He has really taken um, an interest in their life and their personal development. And he acts just as, you know, the father. He's out there, um, you know, they're on FaceTime with, with his black side of the family. And the family on the black side has adopted them and, and, and as their own. And, um... It looks like he's happy to do what he's doing. He's doing a lot of work around the house all the time. I don't see anybody, um, you know, catering to him or cooking for him. But you, you you see him just doing everything in the house for these kids. He's cooking cookies, making cookies and everything and all type of stuff. A lot of black men were upset about this uh, particular video. I saw some brothers posting about it on Facebook. I saw some brothers making videos about it on YouTube. And I'm going to have a different take on it. And, and the take that that's going to be there is this. Why? Why are you uh, uh, upset? Because if you don't control your own image, other people do that for you. Okay. There's even a scene where he, you know, dropped a uh, a gingerbread house and the kids started crying and he felt really bad. So he stayed up all night and made a new gingerbread house, you know, for children that's not his. But, you know, again, you, here we have black men complaining about something that you're not willing to fix. So why are you mad? If you don't produce these films or support people who produce these films to tell your story, then in my opinion, I, I think you should shut up. And I know that's, that's harsh, right? But that's going to push us to either develop as a community of men or sit on the horse and not do anything. Okay? A lot of times, black men, we try to create things to help our brothers and sisters. I mean, we'll help our brothers out, rather. And, you know, there's very little support for those things. And, you know, and that's what we got to start to do. We got to look at this and saying, hey, there are black men out there that do not agree with this. We're going to go and put our own movie out. We're going to call and put our own documentary out to challenge the status quo. We are not going to be living like this. Then that's the best attitude to have. But to sit back and complain about it and do nothing is why you're going to keep we're going to keep getting dominated and keep getting misrepresented because we don't tell our story. That's number one. The number two thing is. Whether you agree with this or not, I have seen cases 
of black men who don't want to date black women, which is very, very consistent with this particular situation here. I've seen cases of it. They won't date black women or date black women with kids. But you will find these black men going to other groups of uh, women and gladly playing a stepdad to their kids. I know personally of situations like that. I know you guys have seen it. You've even seen guys who do stuff like this and they get stopped at the airport or at certain stations, you know, for being around a white kid, be thinking that they're kidnapping him. You know, just in order to like, they, like every time they go out, it's a hassle with the children and they're the stepdad. But then they, they, they swear up and down. They can't date black women. They can't date the black community and they don't want to date black women kids. You see black men who say that I won't date a black woman and then the black woman with kids, but then they will go to Brazil. They will go to the Philippines and they will become stepdad. I've seen it. And the reality is, is that you have this man who doesn't have any respect for himself. It doesn't appear in this clip that he has children of his own. I want, I want you to understand what this, what's going on here. It doesn't appear in this clip he has children of his own. He has de dedicated his life to children of another nationality and ethnic group as his own. Which is what you know that many people are looking for men to do. Not just black men. You know, there's really a, a lot of countries would appreciate that men who don't have kids would step up and become fathers of children who don't have any fathers in their life. And again, it is what I would consider it's a, it's a thankless task. Now, certainly some of us have benefited from some man that hasn't, that wasn't our father being involved in our lives. I mean, many of us have, right? But for us in this day and age, we're looking at it like, wow, what did that guy get from that? He didn't get anything. And that's what the agenda is going to push. The agenda is going to push that, hey, it's totally okay for you to merge families, especially if it's interracial. Yeah, hey, th these black guys will take care of your kids. Why not do it? And I think this is a wake-up call. For a lot of African American men that want to complain about how you're being depicted, it is your responsibility, no one else's, to control your image. If you don't like it, do something about it. You know, I, I for me, even here on YouTube, let's say if I was to put up a documentary, like, okay, can you guys support my documentary? Many of you guys that show up to the celebrity jump, you won't even show up to, to, to participate in that. Like I know Tariq Nasheed raised $1.7 million. If I were to do something like that for the, for, 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 let's raise money for documentary. Oh my God. I can look at the comments and see what it will be. Oh, you're scamming. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. Which is why I don't even bother. You know, when it comes time to put the money together to do something like this, you're going to feel, you're going to find a lot of guys uh, bitching at you, but at the same time, complaining when somebody depicts them in a negative way, which is the reason why I stay away from those things. I just rather work for whatever I get. So can't nobody say nothing. You know, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. You know, I, I believe like whatever I want to do, I, if, if I, I'll do it slowly. And if you look at the likes here, it's a lot of people that have disliked this video. 300 likes, 2,800 dislikes. How many of you are willing to fund something that's different than this? None. Very little. It, it was so bad in the comments that people, they turned the comments off. But those people are not going to do nothing to, to, to put the movie out. To put a different version out. No. Those same people won't put up a dime. And that's the problem. A lot of complaining. Nobody wanting to do anything to solve it. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity John. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first cup at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>